Shalom, we are come now to Mahablipuram and uh, we are here seeing this uh, stone sculpture here. So, uh, we are come with our friends and over here there is a person here who is a uh, tour guide like for this area. So, he is going to give us details and description about this place. So, let's hear from him. Vanakana. Vanakana, madam. So, so let's in the details about this place. Your name, what are you doing? Sir, welcome you all, Mama Lapura. Oh, thank you. My name is, nickname is Mani. Okay. My full name is Raja Mani Gandhan. Okay. Actually, I work as last 20 years okay. as a tour guide in Mama Lapura. Okay. Actually, this village, we have three different names for the same village. Hmm. The ancient name of the town, we call Kadal Mallai. Kadal Mallai. Simply, the people used to say Kadal Mallai. Kadal Garga Mele or Sinna Gram. Grama. Okay. Just give a more respect to the same name called Sir Kadal Malle. Okay. The second name of the town we call Mahabalipuram. Maha it's mean as a great Bali it's for sacrifice. Hmm. Buram is a village. Okay. Great sacrifice village. Third name of the village we call Ma Mallapuram. Ma Mallapuram is a great warrior village. Warrior village. Because the sculpture all belongs to Pallava dynasty. The king Pallava, one of the Pallava very important person. Narashima Varma Pallava first. He has a name, Ma Malla. The same name to keep this village, Ma Mallapur, great warrior village. Here to 70 km, the town we call Kanchipuram, Pallava capital. Ma Mallapuram is the earliest seaport in the village. The king, he saw many mountains around in Ma Mallapuram when he, he was using a seaport. Before making a sculpture here, the king, he saw many of Hindu temple, they all made wood chariot temples. So, wooden chariot Hindu temple is not stay so many years. He just got idea to do a stone chariot temple on the place. Have just choice some mountains around Mamalapuram. He just planned to make a temple. So, example what we are standing in front of this monument. The monument we call Arjuna's Penance. Another name for the same monument we have. Bhagirath, he did a meditation to bring the river Ganges. Okay. Actually, Mamalapuram, we have the four different type of architecture. One, we have this one, we call bas relief architecture, 27 meter long and 12 meter height, 153 sculpture in the wall. This is the largest bas relief architecture, world number second. Number one in Cambodia, Angkor Wat. Number two, we have in Mamalapuram, what we are watching now. So, next to that, we have monolithic cave architecture. So near us to visible. And one more monument here to one kilometer. The monument we call five Ratha. That's made by one single mountain, five chariot, five different temple design, three animal. Totally they made out in one single mountain, monolithic architecture. This is all in 7th century. The last one is 8th century. The temple is very close to ocean. That's we call seashore temple. That's the interlocking system, layer by layer. Pallava dynasty was started the career in 3 century up to 9 century. Specifically under Mamallapuram as all 6 to 8 century AD we have the monuments. So please just watch here. Middle we have small temple as for Vishnu temple. Inside the standing god Vishnu. Above the temple one person he was standing by one feet. I just give some small light. He is called a Bhagira. Used two hands in above, he was standing by one feet. So, so many years, hard meditation without any eating, without drinking a water. He was just focused to bring the river Ganges from sky to ground. The Bhagiratha, he did a meditation, it's in Himalaya. River Ganges in Himalaya, all the generation people should want to understand how the river Ganges come down, belongs to who. The Pallava just carved here, give a message to the future generation to understand. So he was doing a hard meditation. The river Ganges, she is very happy. River water ready to get down from the sky to ground. So when the water come down, with many people able to die because the river water come with very force and pressure. With the force and pressure, water reach in the air, many people able to die. Before reaching ahead, I have to control all the force and pressure of river Ganges. Bhagiratha, he just prayed to Lord Shiva. Next to him, such a big statue, 11 feet height within the four hands. He is Lord Shiva. Shiva, he was control all the force and pressure along with the Jada. He has a long hair. He just control all the force and pressure with the Jada. He keeps himself. So then Bhagirada asked to Shiva, 
so lord shiva removing a single hair from the shiva head the river ganges come down along with the single hair of shiva then the lord shiva i call the family snake from badala loga to upper you can watch in the middle that's a nagaraja man snake so there is a female snake nagarani the baby snake is down there the family snakes control all the force and pressure of river ganges finally the river water reach in the air all the family elephants they all come to drink the river water before bagiratha generation people there is a more than 60000 people the bad karma happened by the kabila maharishi the kabila maharishi he just give a shaba for a 16000 of people everyone is get a ash once the river ganges come and touch with the ash those people get the moksha aves bagirath he did a strong meditation without any eating aves the stomach is go in ribs all find out of him sir this is a family elephant they all movement drinking the river water watch the elephant task under the elephant task there is a cat the cat is standing similar like a bagirath nearest to the cat so many rats around the cat the rat all thought cat is going to do a meditation like a bakiratha didn't disturb us no problem for us so the cat is pick the first rat no any other rat watching so eat himself like one by one they collect many rats eat himself he has a big stomach you can able to see the big belly so bakiratha he is a true meditation the cat is like cheat the rat and more below there is a deer the deer is crossing the nose our earliest prime minister indira gandhi ma'am she was came to visit her in mamallapuram she loved this deer very much but she was saw entire monument in mamallapuram she loved this deer very much she was give order to place on old tender to indian notes the currency the stamp on it the same deer next to the deer there is a small tortoise statue the man he is a uh, worshiping for the sun god next to him the person has worship to the ganga river water above shiva there is a moon god here there is a sun god many of god and goddesses they all come and visited how the river ganges come down from sky to ground focusing natural shape of the mountain it look like a two elephant you can see the whole carving it looks one huge big elephant this part and the other side it's like a huge big elephant facing each other that naturally the mountain shape like that. still we have more sculpture place they want to make a stone carving didn't finish it because the king just lost the end of 7th century other dynasty ruler in karnataka chalukya dynasty second okay. kuliki okay. he was win the war pallava just lost mm. the war always is not finished the sculpture still they have a just have a rock so this stone also here you can see head of the elephant there is a marking level that level was buried under the sand So 200 years ago, the British government digged this monument. The sand was up to there. They digged the smut. So this stone color looked like sandstone, but this is not a sandstone. This is all in sand, granite rock. It's very hard to do a sculpture. In Mahabalipuram and Pandavas, they didn't have any connector. But an earlier to traveler just came and see the monuments here. Example, this place. They can just give another name for the same monument. Arjuna's penance, the connecting name. The same person we called Arjuna. The name of him, he changed the name Arjuna. He just prayed to Shiva, get all the power from Shiva. He was ready to fight with 101 person Gauravas. So there is a temple left side, Arjuna teacher, Dhrunat Charya, Rishi. The three people without head. Hmm. Okay. All, so the people was followed as a three type. One, the three important dynasty of Pallava. the chalukya i didn't want to keep the statue of pallavas just destroyed another thing when i dig it that time it will be damaged the third one this stone always in the over there that spot from there to fell down that time as a damage for the head of three parts so the three types so that monument without god idol will be there but they just thought to say pandava cave five pandava cave panja pandava bedroom like that everywhere in mamallapuram able to see the lion columns the lion statue the pillars all look like a roman influence but the lion is symbol of dynasty pallava emblem as a lion 
easy to identify the sculpture all belongs to pallava dynasty in 2019 our indian prime minister narendra modi ji and chinese president they just came and visited in mamallapuram because we have the great chain link from mamallapuram to china in pallava time 6th century one of the pallava we called as bodhi dharma pallava he was went to from here to china he just teach the kung fu kala there and he was preparing ayurvedic medicine to cure the sick like in a corona in ancient time is happened but he was prepare the ayurvedic medicine to cure the people cure the sick of like a corona but all the people in chinese people just make a lot of statue like him they made it and keep and pray like a god so always the chinese president the read all the history belongs to the pallavas he just tries to came in mamallapuram discussing with the, our prime minister our prime minister and chinese president both came to visit in mamallapuram in 2019 so the after it mamallapuram has more promoting lot of traveler came to visit in mamallapuram suddenly we have a big issue in the world wise as a covid corona after corona they want to develop more tourism industry we have 44th chess olympia it's happened in mamallapuram so 187 country the players came here lot of international visitor domestic visitors they came to see the how to be happening in a chess tournament for visiting and last 3 months ago we have international surfing tournament has happened in mamallapuram when the pallava they started to do a temple work in around mamallapuram after that we have generation people was doing a stone carving very main work was in mamallapura specifically doing a stone carving they have a sculpture college also here after degree the people have to work doing a stone work they have to study with the five years to learn proper by the government by the studies most of artists without study they follow with a the generation to doing a stone carving they export all different state or different country by ship so it's total loss many granite sculpture covered we have a lot of workshop factories in the area okay so far you have described about uh, mahabali tell about yourself myself it's been very interesting i just completed in 10th standard only last 20 years communicated with a traveler so my mother tongue tamil i think is very good in english yeah as we, of course yes really we studied in english medium yes. but we sometimes we struggle to speak about you know fluent in english words are very tough to come out but he is very fluent so telling is that uh, uh, completed his 10th standard okay just, carry on yeah i just completed in his 10th standard i got get a great opportunity because my father has a handicraft field okay so i am not studied well then i'll follow with my father for the handicraft stone carving and then i love this job i learn a lot about in tamil and just i follow with the senior uh, guide i just learn more and myself i just spoke to the traveler english i learned from the traveler i learned from traveler hindi i learned from traveler kannadam telugu so several languages specifically english and french i able to speak in french for explanation about this monument enter mamallapuram so myself learned from traveler i studies all my studies by the traveler french also yes i learned french also so another important things for uh, my english so once i speak with the uh, indian person my action my pronunciation it's a little different i'll just directly speak with the client of foreigners who is from uh, uk who is from american my action little bit myself automatically let it changes with the pronunciation so the french people they speak little different type of english german clients they speak different type of english russian they speak different type of english so some of the traveler they know just to only french they don't speak english yeah. those travelers when i'm before learning a french i able to explain them by english okay. by action and very slowly for mm-hmm. method of understanding for a french traveler that like and step by step my learn for a from the traveler i catch some important words after now what all i am a good to explanation in monument all the tour in french okay, thanks very much thank, thank, you. thank you so much